Valley United Fancy View 2 0 win. We've moved on to the Eastern Conference Finals and two goals. Gressel with the chip, Joseph with that impossible angle blast. I mean, just uh, really a, quite a solid win, but uh, there were some chances that were maybe left on the table a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I feel uh, we could have done better. We could definitely could have got uh, some more goals, could have um, put that distance between us and the uh, opposition. But I feel the, the, the goals we took, the, the, uh, the opportunities we did, I mean, that, that shit from Gressel was just the, 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 the presence of mind to, like, know to do that. Man, come on. And then the angle from Martinez. Like, when he scored that goal, I literally just looked around. I was literally just like, I looked around everybody. I was like, bro, did, did he rip? Did, is that really how we go? All right, bro. Like, yeah. that, that's where we at. Like, yeah, we yeah. here. Like, yeah, and, that and, was one of those goals that when it happened, I was like, bro, this is Atlanta, bro. This is United. Like, we about that shit. We want the smoke. We want all the smoke, bro. You bring it to us. We want it on our, on, on our doorstep every day, all day, Monday through Sunday. We want that smoke, man. Yeah, because uh, really, yeah, we are the only team in Atlanta that really wins shit like Joseph Martinez says. And, uh, I mean, frankly, at this point, uh, you know, we're moving on to the Eastern Conference sem or to the finals. Yep. And so uh, in terms of, um, you know, this match, you know, we went with the back four. Uh, really different from what we've been accustomed to yep. going yep. in. We've been rolling with 3-5-2. Uh, were you surprised? I was. I, I thought he would come out with, uh, you know, with the, with the shield of the four in the back, mm -hmm. but do the 3-5-2. Or maybe five in the back. Yeah. Stuck with the four. It worked out. Yeah. Which, you know, I mean, I don't always agree with Frank DeBoer's tactics or, you know, his decisions. But the dude, he's a smart guy, man. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. This guy is a, is a tactical, you know, I don't want to throw that word genius. But he, but, he, but he knows what he's doing. I mean, I'll throw this out as an Arsenal fan. <laughs> I watched Una Emery get it wrong on numerous occasions. If yeah. you're an Arsenal fan, you feel me. I feel you, yes. I Not to absolutely know what you're talking about. Europa League game today, but I mean, the previous game where we, we played in uh, against Sheffield United looked like we had no idea what we were doing. Yeah. No tactics, no understanding really what we were doing. Like, guys were just running yeah, this around. Is night and day no, in terms of that. Night and day. I mean, Frank DeBoer had these guys out here with the proper roles, knew what we were doing. I mean, home crowd, these people, dude, the fans were out to support, man. Like, oh, yeah. It was definitely markedly louder we than it. the best fans in the MLS. I think, hey, United, Ed. let's get it. There's, but we got some of the best fans in the world, bro. Yeah. I mean, really, all the stuff I heard, man, I haven't, you know, traveled around uh, worldwide stadiums. But the stuff I've heard, man, yo, you, 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 you interview Robbie and, uh, and Troops. They, they, they messing with us, man. Oh, yeah. No, they, they, they messing with us, bro. They, they respected it for sure. And they were uh, – they knew that it was arguably better than the atmosphere at the Emirates. That's huge, man. So. That's huge. That that is, I mean, to be a a, a three year club, mm -hmm. where you 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 tapping into European level type that that that's okay. that's got that's got to that's got to say something about what we bringing, what the coaches are bringing, what the what the, the the top level guys are bringing as far as like recruiting, bringing these guys in. Like, I, I, I'm with it, man. Like they they making the moves. Yeah. Bro. yeah. So, are you bullish on us getting through into the MLS Cup final, or how are you feeling? Uh, I'm confident. I'm, uh, I'm always confident with this team. Like, um, I think if we if we lose or make um, you know don't 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 play on the front foot, I think it's more of a something with us. Yeah. Like our tactics, our uh, our, our way of handling things. Right. That's that's really like I think. So you, you think if we lose, it would be more on us than on the opponent actually I mean, imposing themselves? I mean, I really think only there's a few teams that can mess with us in the, in the NLS. I mean, LAFC is one of those teams. I mean, Carlos Vela was playing MVP, yeah, you know. Yeah, he's playing like legit. So I'm hoping, you know, El Trafico tonight. We see what happens. Mm -hmm. But there's not many teams that can really mess with us. Um, so if, if we don't get it, get it right, I think it's, you know, I don't know if it's tactically or anything, but I just – Sometimes I feel we, we get a little lackadaisical. Um, there's times where lose focus or something. Yeah, we, sure. there, were, there were times when in this game where we lost focus. You can definitely tell the guys were, I don't know if it was, I don't know, if, uh, I don't think it's a, an endurance thing yeah. or exercise thing. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you just, you don't, 
always stay. Yeah, they're you know, not always cool. locked in. You know, and I, and, sure. and I understand that. I mean, as an athlete, sometimes you just kind of like, man, you're like, hey, what's going on? It's like a butterfly flies. But like, oh, what's going on? It's like sometimes. Hopefully, that, hopefully that does not happen that really too much at this level because this that is. But you know, also speaks to strength yeah. of character and strength yeah, of your, your, your your mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think if we stay locked in, yeah. and Frank DeBrew has, at, as far as like his his tenure, his, his record, mm -hmm. um, as far as like who, you, like it, it, the team team wise. He knows how to coach people. I don't want to go back to the Arsenal thing, but I will fall back. There's there's a way to coach certain players. I mean, you look at you know look at Unai Emery, how he handled the Ozil situation. I think it'd be handled a little bit differently, yeah, a little and, bit better. Yeah, and PT Martinez uh, got the start, got a man of the match in terms of uh, the guitar. Is that's yeah, one I mean, thing I did not expect. Yeah. I did not expect to see pity tonight, yeah. but they surprised me with the with the lineup. They surprised the me. Triumvirate with the as well. And they did a the thing. I didn't see my boy uh, Tito. Shouts out to Tito, man. That's that's my dude all day, every day. But we still got the win. We got the W. All the fans are happy. Guys are here slapping the ground. People walking by with the aliens. And we out here, man. Atlanta United, bro. This video is sponsored by Boru Boru Sushi. Get a $10 gift card when you mention Fan TV to our sponsor. Boru Boru is a fast, casual eatery inspired by Japanese cuisine with a touch of today's approach towards custom-built meals for everyday lifestyle. Specializing in sushi bowls, poke bowls, and sushi burritos in a delicious way. It's Customer Appreciation Week, so get in on their specials from October 28th through November 3rd. Atlanta! Atlanta!